Day 19 of 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. Our scripture comes from Isaiah 55, verse 11, and it reads, So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Our prayer focus is God's word shall do what it says. Let us pray. Today is a great day because we are in the Lord. We are on the ark of safety. We are on the ship of Zion and we thank you. Thank you for redeeming us, saving us, claiming us, renewing us, regenerating us and giving us another opportunity to live for you, God. Thank you that you put your word deep in our heart. You have convicted us, you have converted us, you have transformed us with your word. And we're so glad your word proceeds out of your mouth. Because anything coming out of your mouth is like manna to our souls. And your word that's released from your mouth, it moves through the earth. It goes, it travels, it has a destination and a destiny in it. Every seed of your word, God, has destiny attached to it. It will never return void. It will never be vacuous or empty or worthless, but it will accomplish. Hallelujah. That means it'll work or work. Uh, it, it will produce. It will multiply. It will constantly increase. It will be constantly active and activated. Hallelujah. And so we thank you for such a word, a dynamic word. It's like dynamite, dynamos. It just explodes in our spirit and begins to strengthen us and transform us and renew us. And so, God, I don't know what we would do if we didn't have your word. And so continue to speak your word into our lives, even out of the mouth of the pastor or the prophet or the priest, the man or woman of God. Speak your word and release a rhema word for the, your children today, God. Somebody's hungry for a word and you're the only one that can fill them to an overflow, God. And so we thank you, Father, that your word is like food that never makes us, Father, hungry and empty. But we, oh God, continue to live on your word because they accomplish what you desire. We're so glad that you are attached to your word. It always is backed by you. It is always is strengthened by you. And so, God, whatever we do today, we want to live on purpose. We want to achieve the purpose through your word. And what your word to achieve its purpose through us. This is your service prayer in the powerful, strong name of Jesus. Let the redeemed of the Lord say amen.